Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss, I am going to show you like uh, how we run the Postman test script uh, with multiple set of data, right? Uh, it means like how we perform the data driven testing on a Postman uh, test request, okay? So first of all, like uh, what is the data driven testing? Data driven testing is a concept by which we can run one test script with one request here in the in the term of the postman if i talk one request with multiple set of data okay like example you can see here we have a find status okay find pets by status at one api where we have we can run this a test okay uh, api test with multiple set of data right so you can see here uh, this is the request uh, uh, pet slash find status where we are passing the uh, status as a query string and in this query string we can pass with three any data either available or pending or sold so if we will send the uh, available then it means we will be uh, retrieving all the data whose uh, like status is pending or available okay so let me send the request and you will see here the request details. Okay, so this is the request sending to the server and this is the response. And here you can see uh, all the pets, right? So this is first pet, is, status is available. This is the second pet, its status is available. So all the pets which we are getting, its status should be available. Okay, so if I send us other request, uh, other data in the request, uh, then we will get the all the pets whose status is uh, pending. Okay, so now if we want to run one test uh, script or one request with different different set of data, then this we can achieve by the data driven approach. We will not create a duplicate test. Okay, so let me create one test here in the Postman. So first of all, I'm going to create a collection. So click on this plus button, one collection, I rename this, okay. Pets data driven, I am giving the name. Add one request, click on here, okay. So here we need to pass the URL. So what is the URL? You can see here, this is the request URL. This one method type is get okay you can see method type is get method so i selected the get and there is no additional re requirement okay status is going to here as a uh, query parameter right so let me send the request and you will get all the pets here in response whose status is uh, pending okay so now if we want to run the different set of data like sold we need to update here the sold then we can run okay so now this part we can parameterize from the external source right like uh, a csv file or json file where we can pass that all the data available sold and pending so accordingly that will uh, run our test cases okay so as we discussed earlier in the tutorials if we want to create a variable use the variable then we need to use the double curly brackets okay variable name and paste this okay close the double curly brackets so now this is parameterized so currently there are one variable is created at in the global okay and we have also already discussed what is the global variable what is the like uh, uh, environment variable already discussed okay so if you want to go uh, you can check my previous video I have added the links in the description. Okay, this is the global. Here one is already created the status. Now, if I send the request, by default, it will pick from the global variables. Okay, its value is pending. Here you can see it is coming from the global variable G value is pending. Now, if you want to run this test with multiple set of data, right? We, if we want to run this, with CSV data uh, or uh, like JSON data, like one CSV file I have created, let me delete and let me add again. Uh, this is the test data. You need to create a similar way, then CSV as a extension. 
Okay, open this file. Add here the variables. Okay, on the top, if we can use the uh, status, this is our headers. Okay, this will not include as a test data. And uh, then next is the value we can post. First value is sold, second value is available. Third is pending. Okay, now values I have added here. So let me import this here in the ex uh, postman during the execution. Okay, how we do run this? So we can go here. Let me rename this. Get pets by status. Run the collection. Save the response run this uh, if we want to run right so you can see here there is a select data option where we can select the file click on this select the file open this now you can see automatically test data csv is added and we are getting here three iteration three iteration means there are three data that's why we are getting three iteration we can click on the preview button here you can see all the three values and header is here as a variable okay now let me run Yes, if we can get here the detail in request here, you can see first is sold. If I go in the second here, you, you will get request URL available. And in the next, we will get the available URL pending. Okay, so now next, how we add the validation uh, for the data which we are retrieving from external files, how we do that. Now you can see here, this is run three times because we have three set of data in a CSV file, okay? If you increase the number of data, then this will increase the number of iteration and this will run multiple times, okay? How many data you are putting. Now, if we, as we discussed earlier, like also I have one video uh, tutorials and if you want, you can watch that, uh, how we add the verification in the postman, okay, how we verify the response value. So as we discussed in earlier tutorials, we have a test tab, go to here. Okay, you can add here a response body JSON value check. Click on this. One snippet code you will see here that is added. Okay, so let me remove this and uh, we can give some name, verify status value, okay. And uh, so pm.response.json, this will retrieve the value from the JSON and store in a variable, okay? So this JSON is a array type, okay? Why the array type? Because the in response, you can see this is started from, and it contains multiple values. Multiple values means for different, different pets values, one set values, second, third, like this, okay? So now if this is JSON type, right, we can iterate the loop because we want to verify all the values. First, let me show single value verification, how we do that, okay. This one, let me copy this code. PM dot expect, okay. And then we can pass the JSON dot here because this is array type we can use the index like i'm you going to use the first value okay then dot status equal to ending okay let me send the request you can see this is passed why because the first data which we are coming in the request that is pending status if i mark this as sold you can see it will fail, okay? So now uh, using index this, so it will always verify the first value, but we are getting the values are dynamic, right? So how we do that, how we verify? So in that case, we can iterate the loop like for loop and then uh, we are equal to zero, okay? We are I equal to zero. 
i is less than okay json data dot length i plus plus okay so let me first print all the status values okay so if you want to print the value then use the console dot log okay and then we can add here the json data i okay this one if i run you will get all the values let me change this pending run this and however we see the console value there is a console option click okay first first value okay here you can see status pending second value third value like this okay and uh, now if we want to verify these values okay so how we do that just use this paste here so json dot data parameterize this pass the id here is status equal to pending now this this is successfully run and let me remove this so now this will verify all the values which are coming in response it should be pending okay but if we run from the runner from the external files as of now this value is coming from the global variables but if we run from the csv file right so the value will come from the csv so in that case every time this value is going to change like first it will send pendings then sold then available so in a pending case, this will work because we have put here hard coded value, but if it sends the request for the soul, then we will get the response. In response, we will get the soul and our test will fail. Okay, so let me run and show you. CSB, run. Yeah, here you can see fail, fail, fail. Only this is passed when our status is pending right here this is failed because this is get, in response it is getting the value as a sold okay but what we are doing we are verifying the i level that's why two is failing one is passing so we need to make this also a dynamic okay so how we do that so we want to verify the value which are dynamically which value is coming from the csv file then we can remove the hard-coded value from here and we can get the runtime data which are coming from the csv file so how we retrieve that so there are one methods pm dot iterator data iteration data we can call this and then method name may name get and here we can pass the variables so our variable is status so i pass the status so this will retrieve the current value from the iteration and verify the from the expected JSON status. Okay. So now if I run this, then this will be dynamically fetch the current value from the iteration and this will pass. So now we, I have not hard coded here. So let me open this. Three iteration preview we can see here, three values, save the response. Sold, available. Third is now here pending. So all the three iteration is done. Okay. So in this way we can run single test script and we can pass the data from the ex CSV file. Okay. Now how we run this from the JSON file? So in that case we can create a JSON data data file. Okay, let me create this JSON test data dot JSON. Okay, open this JSON file. Open this JSON file. Okay, here this is array type, so we can create this as an array. Okay, because we are going to pass here multiple set of data. So in the first data status, okay, colon, sold like, okay. 
and similar type we have three set of data so we can add here all the set of data sold pending available okay save this and now here if i run here then i can include the csv uh, json file instead of the csv included okay if i click on the preview we can see all the three data here we can see application slash json and this is the json file run this here you can see the value is coming sold pending and third is available okay and also this is verify the response at runtime all the three uh, verification is passed okay so now uh, in this way by using a csv or json file we can run one postman test script with multiple set of data okay thanks for watching the video